Hello, middle school math teachers. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you three of my most favorite and even underrated middle school math games and activities that you can use totally free in your middle school math classroom. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin, and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership, your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach 6th, 7th, 8th grade, and Algebra 1 math. So shall we dive in? I'm going to be sharing with you my three favorite middle school math activities and games that are totally free. All right, so here we go. Number one. The first one that I think is super underrated that not a lot of people use, well, I think we just forget about it, is the power of using dice. You can use dice in so many ways. Granted, it can be loud. So what I like to do is actually have my like students open up their textbook and roll their dice into the textbook. So they don't, so you're not hearing like the clackety clack, clack, clack of the dice in your classroom all day long. I don't know about you, but I'm super sensitive to noise. And so anyway, I will have students open up their books. So they're rolling it like on a thick textbook, just filled with paper. So you don't really hear it at all. And it's beautiful. And you can use dice in so many ways. You could have, um, you know, like roll two dice and have your students multiply the two numbers that they see or add the two numbers and then multiply. If you want to get really wild, you can go online and buy multiple site, like more than six sided a six sided die like I have seven sided, eight sided, 10 sided die. And so like you can the numbers increase obviously with the more sides like, so you get more than just one through six. But even if you don't have that ability and you have just regular dice, you could tell your students like, okay, we're going to start by multiplying the numbers that you see every time, you know, two numbers roll or go up. Or you can, and then you can lead to like, okay, we're going to multiply it. But now every time you see that number, it's going to double. So that six is going to turn to a 12. So if you have like two sixes, it's going to be 12 times 12. Or you could, you know, come up. I like to even put like, um, like sentence, mathematical sentence frames on the board. Like, so it'll say blank divided by blank plus blank okay and then they will roll the die and they will plug in the numbers into that number sentence and then work out work it out so underrated i'm sure there are a ton of youtube videos out there that can show you better than me how to use dice for the classroom but check and check them out i mean i don't have any major i don't have any recommendation recommendations but dice super underrated and super fun number two activity kahoot and quizzes i've said this before in some of my other videos but i love kahoot who doesn't i mean the kahoot music itself is fire and the kids love it but really i love quizzes and i know that there are a ton of other platforms like this out there but i am really partial to quizzes because really the big thing that i love about it is it's not it's individualized. So students don't have to feel like they have to hurry or they have to be in a rush to complete whatever question that we're giving them on the screen. Because we all know as good math teachers, it is not about speed. Math, it, like speed is the last thing that we should be encouraging in math. Sometimes speed, like we, we need to be speedy. But for me anyway, I always stress the importance of accuracy. And that's why I love quizzes so much is because Students who need that extra time can get the extra time. Finally, my other favorite activity that is totally free is a an online platform or an online game called Wordle for Math. And if you have ever played Wordle before, which is from the New York Times, or I guess the New York Times bought it, I play every day on my phone still where you have to like guess the five letter word of the day. This is Wordle for Math. And if you want to see this in action, I actually have a YouTube video for it that I will include the link in the description box to actually show you how it works, what it looks like. It's totally free. So go ahead and click that button if you want to check it out. I'm not going to show you what it looks like here. I'm just going to like tell you about it really quickly and you can go ahead and check that check out that link right below this video so you can learn more about it. But basically, I love this so much because it's a great way for our students to practice their math vocabulary and it's a great way to just kind of add it into your warm up or what I really love is actually using this. If we have like 
five minutes left of, of class and like kind of everyone's finished or like, you know, pe- the kids are kind of like mostly packed up and ready to go. Like when that happens, this is a great thing for me to throw up on the screen in my class, you know, cause my, um, computers connected to my projector. So anyway, so I just like reflect my computer screen and you pick the, the math word that you want. It's a five letter math word that you want to use. So for example, you could put ratio on there, R A T I O. And the students have to guess just like you would in Wordle. And so it helps them practice their math vocabulary skills because we definitely need that. I think you might be able to, expand the word. I don't think you, I don't think you have to keep it in five letters. Maybe I can't remember, but check out that video, play around with it. It's super fun. It is just, all you have to do is just Google Wordle for math and it'll come up. Which one of these games are you going to play first? Let me know. Do you think that dice is underrated? Do you use dice in your classroom? Do you use quizzes? Have you played this Wordle for Math game? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your experience. All right, that's it for me. Until next time, bye for now.